Hey, Geminis. What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome back, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. All right. So let's see, Geminis. What's going on? What's going on from December 15th to the 31st for my Geminis? All right, let's take a look. What messages do you have for Gemini's? What messages do you have for Gemini's? What messages do you have for Gemini's? December 15th through the 31st. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's see. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Gemini's, okay? One more shuffle. All right, bottom of the deck, guys, we have past life relationships. So you have known this person before. So maybe this is in regards to someone from the past. I feel like someone wants to come back. You guys have almost the same cards as Libra did. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. The first card, guys, from past energy, we have reconciliation, all right? So someone from the past is returning to your life. So maybe some of you guys have gotten back together with someone from the past, okay? Someone from the past could have came back around, all right? Present, we have passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So there's lots of romance and passionate stuff going on, all right? Future energy, we have finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So let's get some clarity here. We're going to pull a few more cards and get some more tea. We're going to see what this tea was good with this tea. All right. What additional messages do you have for Gemini's? All right, we got the three of wands. So this is waiting, waiting for things to change, waiting for things to go in your favor, waiting for those ships to come in, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So maybe this is why, why someone here is waiting for things to change because someone from the past has lied or someone from the past has cheated or is, has been dishonest, okay? Maybe there could have been some spying or some gossiping going on, but I feel like there was a second chance on something and somebody could have lied. Someone could have been very dishonest saying that they were going to return or they'll be back. And someone flat out lied. I feel like there is still lots of passion here. I feel like in future plans, I feel like some of you guys are trying to, are going to be making a decision. But I feel like there's lots and lots of passion here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with this King of Cups energy here. With finances and career going into the near future, I do see fire energy here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, but I do feel like that with the King of Wands, he's very passionate about anything that he does. Everything that he does is filled with fire behind it. I see, I'm definitely sensing Sagittarius energy, but I feel like there's going to be some communication or some type of offer um, going into the near future. Maybe someone is deciding that they're not going to accept the offer. Um, maybe there could be some codependency issues. Maybe there could be um, addictions here. Or there just could be some negative energy. Someone could be communicating towards you harshly, negatively, bringing you like bad news or bringing you negative news. I'm really getting Sagittarius energy really, really big. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's really energy really, really big here as well. So this has a twist to it, Gemini's. Let's see, what additional messages do we have for Gemini's?
what additional message do we have for Gemini's? All right, Jimmy's at the bottom of the deck, the chariot card. So this is about progression and forward movement. Okay, I'm really getting uh, Cancer's energy here as well, too. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy, definitely. But there's definitely like something progress, progressing or forward movement into some type of bond or partnership. Fire sign, definitely really really bad i feel like someone is being very the way they communicate is very defensive someone is coming off very defensive but i feel like someone i feel like past energy you guys have been working on yourself you guys have been getting your money together you have been working you have been partnerships or you're building something for yourself um i don't know if it's building up your self-esteem building up whatever it is i definitely do see some work and effort being put in i feel like someone regrets getting married or someone is regretting moving in or is something could possibly have something to do with family life i'm sensing married some i feel like in the hopes i'm sorry not hopes and fears but the desires is regretting someone getting married we have the four of wands as well as the ten of cups so this is definitely like long-term relationships or marriage okay and i feel like going into the near future you're you're not going to be worried about anything we got the nine of swords and the death card the death card is the card of scorpio but we have the two of swords clarifying that as well so this is definitely like i'm not even gonna worry about this no more i'm not worried about this no more someone has been coming off very defensive here very controlling very defensive and like i said i feel like this could be a fire sign Why is the King of Wands here? Or someone is come, coming in speaking like what they're going to do, their actions. There's disappointment here. I feel like you're disappointed about what someone has said or someone's actions. They've been coming off very controlling, very rude, very stern. And I feel like right now you could possibly be feeling like you're having regrets here. But I feel like going into the near future, you're like, uh, not worried about it. I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about you. I'm not going to let you get me down. I love it. I love it, Gemini's. I love it. Please give me past, present, future for energy for Gemini's. Past, present, future energy for Gemini's. For December 15th through the 31st. What's happened in the past? What's happening now? And what's whoa? What's to come in the future for Gemini's? December 15th through 31st. Oh, that, that was really a real crazy weird shuffle. At the bottom of the deck, we have a seven of pentacles. So this is definitely like planting your seeds, plotting, plotting your next move. I'm sensing like plotting to take action, being patient. Some of you guys are living with somebody or some someone offered, there's a living arrangement or someone is married. I'm sensing there could be talks about a divorce or talks about a separation. I'm definitely getting Sagittarius energy really, really hard. I feel like that was past energy presently. Someone is possibly wanting a second chance here. Someone's feeling really, really down, feeling sad or depressed here about an offer for a second chance here. But I feel like someone decided to leave and walk out here with this Eight of Cups and this Ten of Swords in the past. But now someone is offering a second chance. Going into the near future with this Two of Swords, there's indecision. Because someone is taking their time or there is an offer. But I feel like someone is possibly um, is indecisive. 
Scorpio's energy here as well. But I'm saying somebody's not wanting to hold someone back. Deciding that, you know, look, I'm not going to let you hold me back. Play about the four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? Yeah, I feel like feeling like, you know what? I'm not going to let you hold me back. I want to see why three of swords is here. Someone's trying to hold somebody back here, huh? Why is the three of swords here? The sun card. Okay, so this is like after, after a period of uh, letdowns or sorrow or breakup with the sun card here. This is positive energy. And this is also gaining some type of clarity after um, a moment of, you know, of feeling sadness. Why is the sun card here? This is the card of Leo as well. Someone's very defensive as well, too. I'm definitely feel like you guys, whatever is going on, I feel like you guys have kind of like made up your mind that you're not going to let this situation break you. It's like you can't stop me. You're not going, you're not, I'm no longer letting you be in my way. You're in my way. Move. <laughs> I love it, Gemini's. I love it. I absolutely love it, guys. Look, if you guys want to book a personal, I'll leave information in the drop box below. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I'll check on you guys later. All right. Let me know what's going on in the comment section, guys. Ciao for now.